progressive overload does not build muscle, it simply tells you that you've built muscle. Think about it, when you go into the gym, you want to progressive overload, right? However, in order to do that, you need to have gotten stronger and built muscle so that you can actually lift more weight the next time you do that exercise. But how exactly do you build muscle? Very simple, you train very close or to muscular failure so that the concentric velocity of your reps slow down, forcing more muscle fibers to be recruited, thus producing more force, and eliciting mechanical tension. This mechanical tension then increases the rate of muscle protein synthesis inside the cell, causing muscle hypertrophy, and then building muscle. It's not the fact that you waltzed into the gym and added a 5 pound weight onto your bicep curl, it's the fact that you trained to failure on those bicep curls, paired with proper nutrition and recovery of course, that inevitably built you the muscle. And with that new muscle, the next time you do that bicep curl, in order to train to failure again, you will most likely have to do more reps because you are stronger than you were before. And eventually, you will have built enough muscle where it is actually necessary to increase the weight in order to stay in your desired rep range. And that is why 